Ever feel like your hands turn into wobbly pool noodles in the heat of a virtual battle? Well, I used to. My aim was about as precise as a blindfolded stormtrooper. Who referred you to us? Making me prime target practice for anyone with a half decent trigger finger. It was like my hands were floating on their own, completely detached from my brain's shoot the bad guys plan. Then, one night after a particularly soul crushing defeat, and of course, a burrito filled pity party, a beacon of hope flickered across my screen. The Cobra VR Vader 1 gun stock for PSVR 2. Now let me tell you, this little gadget is an absolute game changer. The Vader 1 attaches snugly to your PSVR 2 controllers, ditching the need for a bulky harness that makes you look like a pack mule. You cut me real deep just now. The Vader 1 boasts a special semi-fixed design. This means lightning fast weapon swaps, no more frantic searches for a lost stock in the middle of a firefight that could get your virtual self vaporized. The first time I shouldered the Vader 1, it felt like magic. It fit perfectly against my shoulder, like an extension of my own body. Detaching the controllers was smooth and easy, like butter on toast. The magnets were just right, strong enough to hold everything steady during even the most intense battles, but not so powerful that it became a wrestling match to take them apart. But the real magic of the Vader 1 is its flexibility. I could switch between my assault rifle and sidearm like a seasoned operator in the blink of an eye. The front controller angle could even be adjusted for different games, a feature most gun stocks wouldn't dare dream of. It was like wielding a custom built stock for every digital world I entered. Whether I was annihilating cactuses on a beach or battling zombies in a creepy abandoned mall. Of course, mastery wasn't immediate. The dance of detaching and reattaching during weapon swaps felt like fumbling through a Rubik's Cube at first. Thankfully, Pavlov's virtual firing range became my training ground. I spent a few hours practicing those weapon swaps until I could perform them with my eyes closed. Well, almost. However, there were a few hiccups along the way. Some games required some minor adjustments in the settings to get the Vader 1 working flawlessly. Occasionally, the backslider would loosen up slightly, throwing off the distance between my controllers. A quick tightening of the screw fixed it, so it was only a minor annoyance in the grand scheme of things. The Vader 1 was a revolution for me. My VR battles transformed from exercises in frustration to ballets of pinpoint accuracy and seamless weapon handling. The days of floating hand syndrome were a distant memory, replaced by the exhilarating thrill of dominating the virtual battlefield. Now, when I log on, I'm not just a player. I'm a force to be reckoned with, a virtual sharpshooter ready to take down any opponent who dares cross my path. Or at least, I have the confidence of one. So if you're tired of being target practice, the Vader 1 may be your ticket to VR domination.